Hello, welcome to the Gym RPG Show. Last week I made a video about the RTX 30 series shortages and this week we're going to follow it up with another video and we're going to look at just how bad things really are. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some online PC retailers, some of which have been pretty open about how many orders that they actually have and how many GPUs that they actually have received from week to week. And hopefully this information will give us some clues just to see how bad the situation actually is or isn't. And also to help us to decide which of these models to order. Maybe some of these models have a smaller queue than others. Or maybe some of these models actually get more uh, numbers in stock than other GPUs. Okay, so if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And also to subscribe to this channel for more gaming videos like this. Okay, so the first PC retailer we're going to look at is ProShop and this is a PC retailer in Europe. Now they have a status page for the RTX 30 series and we're going to look at the RTX 3080 series first. And so you can see down the bottom here that their total number of customer orders is 3,550. They've ordered 9,273 of them and they have 423 that are coming and they've received 650 and obviously that means they're fulfilling 650 this week. So if we do some quick calculations, that's about 18% of the sales fulfilled. And that looks to me that uh, there's still 80% uh, remaining to be fulfilled. So it could possibly be that they have four to five weeks worth of backlog. Now it could take possibly longer than that for them to fulfill all of their orders because there could be other orders coming in uh, during the time that they're already fulfilling this number of 3080s. So I'd estimate between four to eight weeks that they will probably get back to uh, normal stock levels of the 3080. Now, something interesting that I found was that the people who shop at ProShop really want an ASUS RTX 3080. And there were 2,376 customers out of the 3,550 customer orders, which is about 67% of the total order. And I think that's really interesting because if you were waiting in line for say a tough OC, which there are 890 customer orders, well, they only received 135 of them. So you're gonna be waiting quite a while to get your tough OC. Now, if you don't actually mind what manufacturer that you actually get, well, if you look at MSI's Ventus 3X, uh, 10 gigabyte OC model, they only had 159 customer orders and they received 110 of them, which meant that last week they fulfilled 69% of these cards. And potentially by next week or whenever they get their next shipments of the Ventus 3X, they could potentially fill all of their customer orders. Now it looks as though either the manufacturer or the PC retailer is not prioritizing the non-overclocked models. So as you can see here in this table, uh, for example, the Tough, they only received 30 of them, while the Tough OC, they received 135 of them. They didn't receive any Strix, they didn't receive any Eagle overclock, they didn't receive any gaming trios, and they didn't receive any Ventus 3X. So it looks as though that they're just going for the overclocked models. And I guess for the manufacturer, that makes more sense. They're trying to squeeze every dollar out of the customer, and they can charge 30 or $50 more for the overclocked model for effectively the same card but obviously it just comes with that factory overclock on top now I'm just going to gloss over the 3090 and the 3070 tables because effectively uh, it has much of the same information. However, I'll just point out that the 3090, they fulfilled 58% of their sales already. So it looks as though that uh, they have probably maybe two weeks backlog. Uh, before they return to regular stock levels. And for the 3070, they fulfill 40% of the sales already. So they probably have about two to two and a half weeks of backlog before they return to normal stock levels for the 3070. Okay, moving on, let's take a look at the website now in stock. And this is a website that gives you an alert for when your the product of your choice actually comes back into stock. And they also have a history to show exactly when things go into stock and when things go out of stock. So I was looking through this table to see if I could gather any information for just how quickly these things were going into and out of stock. And I was really surprised because uh, these GPUs were going in and out of stock within about five minutes most of the times. Now I've summarized my findings in a table here and as you can see, 
on Amazon, the total number of minutes that the RTX 3080 has been in stock since September the 17th, since the release day, has been about 25 minutes. And on Newegg, it's been in stock for about 142 minutes. Now, 98 of those minutes, there was a period of time for that 98 minutes of one of MSI's cards where um, the card was on sale for about 66 of those minutes so that was a bit of an outlier there that it was actually up for that long and that might have distorted uh, these bolts but I've left that in anyway so as you can see here overall the cards have been in stock for about 198 minutes or about three hours since the launch day which is really crazy when you think about it because it's been about six weeks now let's take a look at another retailer and this one is called scan.co.uk and they actually have a NVIDIA 30 series status page on their website. And the page is informing its customers when they're expecting deliveries to arrive for each of the manufacturers and when they actually have arrived. And as you can see here for the RTX 3080, they have 2,921 outstanding pre-orders. They received 315 GPUs last week and they'll be receiving about 320 deliveries this week. The last couple of weeks they've been receiving a little bit more than the previous weeks so that obviously shows that uh, they're starting to improve on stocks. With the RTX 3090 they'll be receiving a total of 386 cars this week and they have a total outstanding number of pre-orders of 691 so it seems as though they're well on their way to uh, reducing the number of outstanding orders. For the 3070, they are receiving 184 cards this week, but they have an outstanding number of pre-orders of about 2,242. So it's going to take a while for them to reduce the number of pre-orders for the 3070. And it seems as though that the stock levels are slowly improving anyway, week on week. Now, there are obviously many reasons as to why we got such low numbers of supply for the last, I guess, three or four weeks. But I think one of the reasons was that it was actually Golden Week in China. And on scan.co.uk's website, this was actually listed in their FAQ and was one of the reasons why they cited such a low number of stock for the GPUs. And essentially, Golden Week is a national holiday week in China. So really, a lot of work stops for about a week and also uh, some time before and after that period. So that is probably why we got quite low supplies of the GPUs and obviously it takes quite a bit of time for them to actually manufacture the card and then import the card, ship the card and then all of the logistics behind actually getting the card from the factory to the supplier. So if you estimate it out it probably takes two to three weeks to get a card from the factory to the PC retailer. And we are more than three weeks away from Golden Week now. So everything should be back up to full production speed now. So we should be getting more cards in stock. That said, I think there's still quite a bit of backlog, especially for the 3080 series. But if you give it maybe three or four weeks, I think we will start to see better supplies of the 3080 and definitely for the 3070 and 3090. All right, that's it for this one. Make sure to hit the like button and also to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.